Hey everybody, thanks for joining. I'm glad you're here. I am super excited to be sharing today's video with you. It is a collaboration with Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture. We are sharing our Longchamp collection. So just to let you know, I do not know much about Longchamp. I do not live close to a, a Longchamp store or boutique. And I just always saw the nylon bags and that's kind of what I thought they were, but boy, was I wrong. And the first time I felt the Longchamp leather, I was like, wow, I want to know more. I really want to know more. So I've explored, I've tried, I've bought some new things. I'm a thrifter at heart. And so I've really enjoyed finding some things on the second home market and gotten some good deals. And I've just really been exploring the brand. And so I'd like to share with you today some of the bags that I've purchased and how much I've been enjoying them. So let's get started. Okay, so it started here. Um, when I uh, saw this bag on a, a few different channels, uh, each person who talked about it just talked about the quality of the leather because this is the lamb skin. And they just were like, oh, it's so squishy. It's so it's so wonderful. It's just really good quality leather. And I, I was like, I'm interested. I really wanted to try it. So I picked this up and uh, I fell in love. I really fell in love. And this is what started me being curious about the other leathers, the other, the quality of the bags in general. It just, it really started my interest in Longchamp in general. So yeah, so I've done a video um, on this bag. Of course, I will link it below and I love it. I really, really do. I know they also made that made it in white and I've several, I've seen several of these pop up recently on the real reel. So yeah, if you like squishy things, and you like wonderful quality leather, then this is a bag for you. This is the Le Pliage in extra small. So this is in the uh, Metis leather, which is a, a combination uh, a combination leather. Don and I did a review, a collab review about this uh, back in the spring. And this is a really, uh, a really good bag as well. So I won't talk too much about these bags because I don't want it to go in video. All I can say is that I will link my review below because I went into quite a lot of detail. I went into a lot of detail about this bag, so I will link that video below. I really enjoyed it so much um, that I wanted to also have one in nylon. The handbag housewife, she, you know, she, if you're not, I'm, I'm guessing you're already subscribed to her if you're watching my channel, but just in case I'll mention her channel because she often put, uh, puts things on her community post about uh, things that are for sale, but also she puts things from her own collection that are for sale. And this is one of the things from her collection that I bought. I am going to be using it this fall. I've kind of had it uh, put back because of the color, but now that we're turning into the fall season here, I expect to be pulling it out and be putting it into my fall ro rotation. So yeah, so this is in the, so as I said, this is in nylon, but I just love this extra small size because it's small, but holds, quite a bit. So look forward to using this. Another bag that I just completely fell for was the brioche. And this is, this leather is also amazing quality and it's quilted and it just has so many uh, sensory things here to just ooh and awe about it. I've also done a video about this bag, um, which I can uh, link below. It's of course it's stuffed right now, but it's, really, really good quality bag, well-made. This is in the extra small. It comes in uh, larger sizes as well. I really like the chain on this bag because it has a leather break, so it's comfortable for your shoulder. It has a wide base, which is one of my favorite things about it because there's no tipping or spilling or anything. It's going to stay where you put it. I loved it so much that you know what's coming next. Right, so I just recently got this bag in the Turtle Dove because I found it for a really good price. And I loved this so much that I wanted to add this to my collection. So as we're changing seasons, I'll be putting this away because this was nice for spring and summer. But I'm now ready to put this into my fall rotation. And oh, it's, I know, I know. <laughs> I know I'm, I'll say this about every bag here today, but it's just such an exceptional bag. I mean, the leather is amazing. Yeah, I highly recommend this bag. 
This is one of my favorite finds when I was looking for more long shop leather bags. As you can see here, it has the monogram LGP. It feels very similar to uh, Louis Vuitton Emprunt leather. It just feels amazing. The way the bag is constructed is that there's a zipper top here and the, the strap is attached. I mean, I'm guessing you might detach it if you really wanted to, but uh, the strap is um, adjustable in the same leather. It has this really cool stud detail here on the zipper pull. The same stud design that's featured in the zipper pull is here on the edge at the end of the zipper here. It's just everything about it is subtle, but when you notice it, it's it just makes you go, uh huh, yep. It's it's just well done. Well, it's like the perfect. Uh, shape here in my opinion because it kind of comes like a teardrop up it has like some attitude you know a little bit edgy but a little bit not too much because it's like subtle it's just it's just really fun and really cool and this was also a really fun find for me this is the Rousseau Chicard monogram print and as you can see it has the the LGP uh, monogram all over this like fabric canvas here and it has like this um, element of like some mock crock here and a what looks like a bamboo closure but you just lift up with a magnet is how this bag works this bag has um, snap closure on the side which you know can help open up and give you a lot of room but you know, it's easy to close here because it's right here on the side and you can grasp it easily and just do it one handed. So the mock crock continues up here um, on the strap and it has posts that you can use to change the length of the strap. I mean, it's just, I don't know, I think it's, I think it's fun and different and I found this on my Kari. I just thought it gave a little something different to add to my collection here because I didn't have anything that was in this like overt monogram if that makes sense because the other one is like subtle monogram but this one is really in your face like lgp longchamp monogram so yeah i just think it's super fun okay so as i was searching for longchamp leather this bag popped up as a possibility on the the resale uh, websites and i was like what is this bag it is so beautiful it is quilted leather and it has this uh, circle embroidery area here it, it I thought maybe it was a floret but it's like a medallion whatever it doesn't matter it's beautiful uh, it looked it reminded me of the look of a rose window in a cathedral you know sort of but anyway it's just beautiful is what I'm trying to say I love it so much so this is like a camera style bag but um Actually, when you turn it around here to the back, you can see the quilted leather, but you can also see there are little tabs here where it could be worn like as a belt bag. And it has a beautiful interior color, kind of a raspberry color, little pocket here on the back. It's just gorgeous. And the chain that goes along with it is really nice too. It's like a gunmetal chain, really good quality. Yeah, this is just one one of my favorite finds here. I didn't even know it was possible to find this, but when it popped up, I grabbed it and I'm so glad I did. This bag also really uh, interested me when I was searching for Longchamp leather bags. Uh, from what I understand, this was part of the Kate Moss collection and it's a beautiful, soft, like mauve pink bag here with some significant hardware really really chunky and heavy hardware but it does have a bit of a shoulder break with grommets that match the grommets here on the front flap of the bag so the attention to detail and the theme here really really impressed me so yeah so this like i said it's a flat bag as you can see here and that this is just so so soft it's really amazing so this flap opens up and it's really thin as you can see here from the side. It's really just a thin bag. Kind of has a wild character inside to the interior zip pocket in the back. But yeah, I mean, the, the contrast to that is super fun. You don't know what to expect when you open it up. Let's put it that way. But yeah, this just, 
the sensory experience here of this leather is really amazing. And then I think it's also really fun for the eyes to see those grommets. And then as the user, you might not, you know, notice to see that those details on other people here, but to see this for yourself, how the themes uh, tie together is really cool. The leather on this bag is really light, which is good because it weighs out with <laughs> the weight of the hardware, which is really significant. So yeah, so I really appreciate that. And so this is one that I'm pulling out now uh, to use in my fall rotation because of the, because of the colors, you know, they just kind of scream uh, fall to me. So yeah, so it has four different colors. This is like an olive green and red and then like a dark brown and kind of like a camel brown. You can see the Longchamp emblem both on the front and the back of the bag. And I think the, the length of this um, drawstring is really beautiful. And it has a strap where you can wear it, you know, crossbody or, well, it works for me crossbody anyway, let's put it that way. So yeah, just a really, really nice little bucket bag. And this is my Mademoiselle bag. I'm kind of sad to hear that they discontinued their Mademoiselle line. They've uh, replaced it for the, is it the box trot? I always want to say fox trot, but I think it's, it's the box trot. <laughs> anyway, I've done a video that I will link, of course, where I was trying on a strap and I, I showed the bag. Um, in that video, but um, I I love this particular version that I found because it has these studs here as embellishments. It's just gorgeous. And there is a zipper pocket here along the back of the bag. Nice, generous pocket. But the leather, I mean, the leather is so nice and squishy and just delicious, like on these bags. It, it's that's great. It's really, really a great bag. The long crossbody strap is detachable, fun, festive interior, and it comes with a a shorter strap that is not not detachable. It's, I just tuck this in. It does not get in the way at all. I just tuck it. It lays along the bottom, and it's been it's been fine. So yeah, so the Mademoiselle, an archive of Longchamp's history now. So this is a messenger style bag to show you. I, of course I was drawn in by the color. I was like, oh, what's that? I found it at my local um, secondhand store. I was like, let me look at that. And it was new, it's in brand new condition. It has these two big pockets here on the front, spacious interior here. And um, I've not had it all that long. And I've kind of uh, used this as a um, kind of like a rotation bag. So sometimes I use a backpack when I'm out with my boys. Sometimes I use a big tote. And now I've been rotating in this as a mess, you know, a messenger style bag. It has a really nice um, back pocket here. So yeah, I mean, it's just very utilitarian, very practical, and very fun because of the color. And then here's my Le Pliage uh, cat tote. Our Charlie tote, as we call it in, our, <laughs> in my family. So I'll link the video uh, down below in case you're interested where you, where you would like to see more about this particular bag and um, why it's named the Charlie tote for our family. Yeah, my boys, they were trying to figure out this word and I, it took me a few minutes to realize that this is not the meow that they know. <laughs> it's meow in French, so. I was a little slow on the uptake there, but um, I figured it out in retrospect. But yeah, we really have fun with this. Who wouldn't, you know? It's just adorbs. So I found this uh, on eBay. The seller listed it as a game on bag. I don't know for sure because, you know, if you know differently, please comment below. But um, this is a flat bag, as you can see here. And there's some stuffing and here's the strap for the bag. But um, what really caught my attention here was this cat <laughs> on the closure. So I know both Don and I are cat people. We have cat, cats in our families. And so I was just like, what is that? How cute is that cat? It's a, it's a pretty sizable bag. It's bigger than my Mademoiselle. I'll show you. I have the smallest of the options of the Mademoiselle, but this is obviously um, bigger bag here. What I find really interesting about this bag is that 
this cap portion is not permanent. Like this is a clip or, well, that's the word that the seller was using with a cat clip and other clips. So you can slide this cat clip out and put in a different clip. Whoops, this one's okay, holding it backwards. So where the cat would go, you could just put in this clip, this clip, very neutral. Here, let me hold it down here. And it says the long champ down there at the bottom, if you can see that. And then another clip that was included is this one with tassels. So you could slide that out and then put this, this clip with black and studs and studs on the tassels, which would be very fun and give a different character to the bag altogether. Yeah, really, really, really fun. And then I have a few, uh, just a few SLGs to show you here. This is the, um, the cat pouch that I picked up um, right after I got my um, Charlie bag here. And it is uh, super cute because it has not only the cat face, but also the meow on the back of it as well. And I have one of these little um, change purses in the um, Le Pliage theme. And I've just recently used this on a trip and I found that it's the perfect size to hold my phone charger. So where I, the cords don't get tangled and everything. And I really enjoyed putting my phone charger in here. And then I have a leather blue coin purse as well. You can see the emblem here. And here's a D ring in case you might wanna connect it to something. I got this off the real reel. It was like super discounted. It's just really, really nice, soft leather. Okay, so as I was editing, I realized that I must have knocked um, my table and the cord attached to my microphone, I think came, uh, came partly attached. Anyway, the audio was not good from here on out for the rest of the video, which I think is okay because it was getting long anyway. So here's a, a screenshot of me showing you these two little cosmetic pouches. And I was just telling you that I use them not really for cosmetics, but for carrying my uh, laptop charger and other cords, things that I don't like to get tangled up in my bags. So that's the main point of this segment. So thank you so much for watching today. If you have any questions about any of the bags that I showed in this video, please leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them there. Or if there's enough interest or questions, I could come back and do a follow-up video on one of these bags and show it in more detail. So uh, thank you, Dawn, for collaborating with me on this video. Check out Dawn's video if you haven't already. I will, of course, link it below. And uh, thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing. If you haven't done that already, now would be a good time to do that. So I hope to see you again here in the very near future. Thanks for watching. You take care. See you next time. Bye.